space. Naveen Mathur of Angel Broking joins in for that. Naveen, hi, thanks very much for joining in all cell calls today. So I'll start with uh, the precious metals, gold and silver. Ika, thank you very much and wishing you all a very, very happy new year and to viewers of CNBC. Uh, the point is, yes, we are maintaining the sell view from the last couple of days, and today is also not an exception. All the new year starting off, you should buy things, but we are selling uh, on all the commodities majorly. The trend speaks of itself. Uh, let it be gold or any of the metals or energy space. The the trend speaks of itself, and hence we are going short on all the major commodities. Uh, particularly yesterday was a little less volatility. Uh, we have seen in Indian markets because the U.S. markets and the entire Western world works closed for trading. So we didn't saw much of things happening. In India, we saw the prices hovering around 26,700 levels. And I think uh, that's where we would like to go in for a short position of around 26,700 on the MCX. The stop loss for this trade can be put in at around 26,900. And targets can be seen on the downside for approximately a range of around 26,500 to 26,450. Uh, the silver but also we are going short, it's trading at around 36,500 or so. I think 36,500 would be something where on the MCX with the March month contract, the silver can be sold across with a stop loss at around 36,950 and expecting targets on the downside in range of around 35,700 to 800 levels. Naveen, hi, morning. What about crude and copper? I know your morning. Uh, I think uh, the crude and copper also looks negative. Uh, anyway, for the crude, I think the markets are uh, in the near term consolidating at around 52, 53 levels from the dollar terms for the WTI. And the Brent is approximately around 57, 58. So I think that the kind of a selling, we have seen 50% decline this year, uh, or I should say the last year in the crude oil prices, uh, definitely has hold it back. And I think uh, 56, 57 dollar for the Brent would be where the markets would be consolidating. And I'm maintaining this particular view for the last couple of weeks that around $55, $60 levels would be where the crude prices may be stabilizing. But for Indian markets, we'll go for a selling position. It's trading at around 3430 or so. Sell it at around 3450 Stop loss at around 3510 on the MCX for the month of March contract. And the targets on the downside can be seen in a range of around 3360 to 350 levels. Copper is also a sell. It's trading at around 401 The sell strategy would be at around 402 to 403 on the MCX for the month of February, uh, the contract of February. Stop loss can be put in at around 406. And I think the targets within intraday can be seen in a range of around 396 and 397 levels. Okay, fair enough. Naveen, leave us with your disclosures then. Ekta, uh, we don't trade on our own account, neither I trade on my personal account uh, for the commodities uh, trading, but then the, these strategies may have been given to our clients uh, for trading purposes. All right, Naveen, thanks very much for joining in and talking to us.